YouTube, what's going on? Let's talk about washing your damn hair. I'm so excited because some of y'all don't shampoo and I want you to shampoo. I want you to have a healthy scalp, healthy hair, healthy process, all of the above. So even if you're locking, you're loose natural, you're getting relaxers, let's talk about keeping it clean. Let's talk about the things you need that's going to actually work for the hair. That's a great thing with the hair. All of the above. If you just wearing your loose curly, how no so face shampoos and different oil factors work for you. If you're locking it up, how so face shampoos are wonderful for you, but you have to restore moisture levels, you have to deeply condition, all of the above. You see how the do two has two different things going on? So to have the healthy curls and the, and the healthy curl factor, you want to make sure that hair is moisturized, and got this silky, smooth, loving Puerto Rican vibe to it, and then you're going to flip the script. You might get a little grimy in the beginning, but for your locks, you want to make sure that they're clean. You want to make sure they're healthy. You want to make sure they're flowing. But at the same time, you want to bridge the gap on hydration and restore moisture at the same time. So let's talk about the two different two and what they do for you and with you. Ready? Let go. Now, this is a starter lock that's not sure she's going to be able to start locks. I'm not sure either because of what's going on, her hyperthyroids and different things that are happening in her life, her medication, the balance of stress syndromes, all of the above. So what I did for her first is I wanted to see what her hair was capable of. So I went in and I started cleaning it out. I started filling it. I wanted to see what actually was happening. So in this you see that we started with the lock pre-wash spray. Although she doesn't have locks, I wanted to use that because she told me that she co-washes. Co-washing it's not shampooing. Because co-washing does not have a cleansing agent to it, I don't care what they say, it is not actually helping you get clean. So, with that being said, I wanted to go through and break down those dead cells that are in her hair. Get all of those things out because she's stressed, she's uh, premenopausal, so she's sweating. A number of things are happening. We're cleaning that out, then we're going to follow that up with our clarifier by Design Essentials, the old protein and henna. Because I want now at this point, I want to build the hair up. Again, like I said, she's on many levels of medication. She's stressing out because she's a woman. Her hair is thinning. She doesn't feel beautiful anymore. We want to make her feel beautiful again. After that, we went in with our moisture retention shampoo, which pretty much restored her levels of moisturization. It started to restore those oil factors and getting that curl to pop. Now, if she was doing a natural curl, and she just wanted her curls to pop. She didn't want to lock. She didn't want to even think about locking. We would have went somewhere totally different. And we would have done a non-sulfate free, I mean a sulfate free shampoo. Going into that hair, rebuilding it, but cleaning it out at the same time. Because at this point, we don't want to strip it. So everything that we're going to do going forward is going to be a healthy cleanser, yet a moisturizer at the same time. And I'm a big fan of mixed chicks on that level. I'm a big fan of Design Essentials Natural line on that level. That Coconut Manoi line on that level. I am a big fan of a few others. Um, K60, is that right? On that level. Patrick Bradley has a great moisture level... Um, moisturizing level of shampooing and conditioners um, and these are not over the counters a number of these are professional brands so that you will actually build up into that hair NYC curls has a great non sulfate free a non sulfate sulfate free shampoo and conditioning process so that the hair can take on and rebuild those curls and rebuild that life and give it everything that it needs so there's a difference between the two because on this side you're worried about a conditioning aspect, a moisturizing aspect. Now, on this side, you're worried about cleansing, moisturizing, and then conditioning aspect because you want to make sure that that hair that's become a sponge now is holding on to so many different things. There's a difference between the two. Be careful. Now, this is my starter lock shampoo. She's got her lock started not just, this is not her first retwist. I would say probably this is her fourth or her fifth retwist. But at the same time, every retwist Every time my client comes in, it is time for you to shampoo. So we did clean her hair out. If there was any level of reversion, if anything came loose as her stylist, I have signed up to make sure that we have fixed this process, that we have made sure that this is a healthy process and that she doesn't have the musty, funky bananas, huh? mashed potatoes, green beans, onion juice, ass head. I don't want that. My clients can't have that. I'm so sorry. So ain't no funky twisting going on around here. So we did shampoo her as we do every single time. We make sure that this is a healthy process. She is well set under the dryer with a conditioner for about 25 to 35 minutes depending on the situation at hand. And we just kept going. We kept going with the retwist of the above and her growth at 
this point is phenomenal. As you can see here, this is her outcome at this day and age, her present day. And just to show you guys that it can grow. We started her with maybe three inches of hair and this is her outcome now. So, showing that shampooing, conditioning, and keeping the scalp clean will allow the hair to grow. It will be healthy, it will be full, and you won't have to worry about anything because you can go from just basic starting out to at this point where her hair is long. Now we got long mature box. And in this aspect, we're still we're doing the same process. The oat protein in here, the clarifier, the honey moisture cream, restoring moisture, and your deep conditioner from your rosemary mint stimulations conditioner. In this aspect, because like I said before, you're holding on to a lot of dead shaded weight. In this aspect, you want to make sure the hair is healthy, it's clean, it's full. So you don't just shampoo the scalp. As you see here, I am shampooing the entire hair. All of this is hair. I don't care how you feel when it comes to locks. Locks are still hair, and you have to treat them accordingly. So I have to clean out his entire hair, making sure that his entire head is clean. I'm not going to make an Instagram video of me three months later of putting him in this water that the products have turned to mud and show and call it a detox. That is disgusting. I am so sorry. I do not want to do anything like that. I want to keep his hair clean, keep his hair healthy, keep his body and his mind healthy. So everything that he does going forward is a healthy aspect. And this is how he's got such small locks with no breakage, with no issues, with no nothing. Because we've never had to do this detox apple cider vinegar baking soda extracurricular activity. It's been basic shampoos. It's been basic conditioners. All of the above to keep him what he wanted to be. This is his choice to have his locks this size and this length. It is everybody else's choice to have the size they want and the length they want. So as long as you offer a healthy process, they will always come out successfully. If you have to have this muddy, crappy looking water as a shampooing process, something is not right. Something of that level of color and, and of consistency should not be coming out of anyone's head. I do not care what you think. It can sound arrogant, it can sound whatever, but I don't know any other service from curls to coils to flat irons to anything else where someone has got a shampoo and it looks like that. That is not cool. So shampooing the hair is important. Using a healthy process is important. Keeping your clients in a great place is what matters the most. You want them to come back, make them feel great. So, I voice my opinions and I voice how I felt and what I've learned about the shampooing process to help follicular value, to, for helping understanding the aspects of hair, from just keeping it curly to locking all of the above. And I really learned and I feel these things from the bottom of my heart that these are greater aspects of a healthy outcome. A lot of you guys are true choosing the healthier way to go like you're doing um, co-washing and all these other stuff. I get what you're trying to do, but if you still don't keep it healthy and clean, you can have an issue in the end too. So, I just wanted to offer my basic understanding, my basic knowledge, and again I say strongly my opinion of what I've learned in this aspect of healthy natural hairstyling. I hope you got something from it. I hope it gave you a greater value of understanding in your aspect of styling or your natural hair journey or whatever you're going to have going forward. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, breathe. <sighs> okay. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> so, on this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Blackmail, that's what I hear. <laughs> As fuck, you know, okay. you got everything funny. <laughs> As fuck, baby. Everything. You see a bitch came in his What's up, God damn, okay. Invisible socks. Ankles, is, ankles is white and oily. How they white and oily? You got to get a little shine on them. I, I, I missed some spray. Yeah, they are.